welcome in to the channel everybody I got a new phone stand here sorry I'm still kind of messing with how this is set up it's release day welcome to tops 2024 series 2 release day I was able to find some blasters at the local card shop they hadn't got their hobby order in yet so here we are but that's all right because I've seen everybody open in hobby not if not as many people opening the blaster boxes so this works out hopefully it gives you a decent idea I only grabbed four um, I like to leave stuff for the other, for other people and you know it'll give us a decent enough sample size and hopefully we hit a whale but these are gonna have the exclusive royal blue parallels in them they're not the fanatics boxes they're just the regular blasters so these are gonna have the um, the holiday parallels, I believe it's like hot dogs, Statue of Liberty, um, and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to look for in these, see how many we get. I think it's supposed to be somewhere around three per box, two or three per box. We're also going to keep looking for these. I want a heavy lumber. I haven't seen one of those even be pulled. I'm sure they, I know they have been pulled because they're listed, but... We'll see. And we'll see if we can pull the uh, DSPs out of here. I don't know if you can pull the... Um, I can't remember what people are calling it. The funny face or whatever. Jackson Holiday. Um, I'm pretty sure you can pull like the Wemby and the CJ Stroud stuff in here. I don't know about the autos. I don't remember what the checklist said, but... We're just going to get into it here. So they put these back in here, which I wish they just wouldn't, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll see if we get any Jason Dominguez on the top's chrome. I wish they'd just leave them as like limited to the chrome or something instead of making a base and a chrome version of those all right i think this is going to be the first holiday parallel yep uh i have no idea what that is supposed to be circles i don't know it doesn't say it's not numbered so it's not one of the rare ones but this doesn't say like the uh Series 1's did. I don't know what that is. Like I said, first time I've seen these, so... Oh. So we should finish this this pack before we open another one, huh? Pete Crow Armstrong. We'll take that. And, alright, around the horn. We can get those out of here. So that's nice. Looks like it's just a regular one. This, uh, I know this set was like very on, you know, everybody was on the fence big time about this set because they hadn't released the checklist until what, like two days before the release day. Uh, all these SPs, they didn't, they didn't tell anyone about, so... Uh, it's kind of interesting. There's one of the new Aqua to 3.99 Reds, Tyler Stevenson. We'll take that. Very nice. All right. I do like those. Um, I'm not sure what color the aqua replaced, but... Alright, so we got a numbered one to 50 of Kerry Carpenter, and that's going to be the umbrellas. The beach set numbered to 50 for Kerry Carpenter. Heck yeah. Hey, if you can pull these, I mean numbered parallels essentially, there's the numbering there on the bottom. I think I like this camera better. That's a pretty good hit there. I should probably top load that. All right. 
There's that box here, or that pack here. Sorry, still used to the other one, so I'm holding it. Spencer Strider, sad end of his year this year. Back to back, Spencer Strider, look at that. Tucker, having a pretty good year, I'd say, this year. There's Luis Robert on the home run challenge. Got that to the stack we haven't put in yet. Two more packs in this blaster here. It's another one of the holiday parallels. It looks like it's probably... Okay, so this weird circle pattern... Seems to be the base. And the fantasy favorites, Mookie Betts. These are cool. I like these. It's a cool design. Shohei on the stars. Last pack of this blaster, so... I think that's it for the holiday parallels. Uh, unless we get lucky. Well, looks like we might have gotten lucky and got another one. Just a base. So, I think that was four of those out of one pack. Or one blaster, sorry. And then Tristan McKenzie on the 89. And Garrett Cole. So, I mean... We can't really argue we got the number to 50 here that blaster was good to us and we got the uh, number to 399 and three of the base parallels so if we do that in all the boxes that's a win that is a win Corbin Carroll anime peeking out back there. All right. I haven't seen any of the short prints yet. foil okay so that was a change they made this year too was the gold rainbow foils are only in hobby or for series two sorry not this year they were available I think in blasters but you cannot get the golds in retail in series two so Egwe Rosario on the base. Parallel there. Got another CJ Abrams on the throwback. There's our retail blue, AJ Minter. Okay. So those are going to be the same as Series 1 as well. Got the uh, Baltimore Brotherhood. That looks like the two young guys on. On the Orioles card, that's pretty cool. There's Slade. Separate out my Diamondbacks here. And another Freddie Freeman. 
in the sweet spot. These are interesting. So what I've seen, the variations, it's like this line is a different color or something. It's really hard to tell. Uh, the white is just going to be a normal base. But the like black version that I saw, it was the only difference was that line right across the top was a different color. That was the part that was black. PCA again. Looks like we got a city to city. Let me just get rid of these. And flip that. Jazz Chisholm on the city to city. That's just one of the base ones. It's not numbered or anything. Those are cool. I actually really like those. Logan Porter on the base there. Looks like we got one of the all star cards here too. Albert Pujols. Nice. Okay. The air conditioner just kicked on and blew a pack at me there. Sorry. Alright. Looks like we got a red in this one. Those are the 199, I believe. If they're the same as his jock and his diamondback stuff. Keep one of those. Let's be Oslavis Basabe. Hmm. 107 out of 199. I think the reds look pretty sweet. They're not my favorite, but the reds look good. If it was a diamond back, it would be you know, my favorite because it would be a color match. But All right, we're going to get rid of these. We've got some extra room here. All right, hold on. All right. Back to it. Sorry about that. We'll probably just cut that out. Start throwing these like ninja stars at something for comedic value. They just need they just need to make make them more scarce or make colored variations of them or just drop them to the chrome and so that they're a little bit more rare and then people will actually like it. Don't just have an insert for the sake of having an insert, especially if you hear nothing but complaints about it. It just seems like a waste of everyone's time. A waste of your money, like printing them. I feel like people wouldn't even complain like some people would probably say like well why didn't you replace them with something else like I don't think you need to do that just get rid of the base ones there's another base on the holiday Joey Votto on the all-star nice Got something numbered to 2024 here at the back. Let's cut a Brayu. It's going to be a Cardinal. Evan Herrera. Nice. And then what, another rainbow foil? Yep. Cool. Sleeve for this guy. All right. 
Cody Thunderberg. That's an interesting last name. PCA again. David Wright on around the horn. And J-Dom. So, so far, at least we've gotten one numbered card out of each box. So, that seems nice. They did reduce the, uh, the print run this year. Mitch Hanniger on the Royal Blue. Or the, uh, this year, I keep doing that. It's not a different year. For this print run, they did reduce it. It seemed by like a third, which seems like a lot. So you should get more hits per box, I would imagine. Just another base on the holiday. Um, but I don't know what the hit rate is going to be for those SPs in any of these. We haven't seen one yet. Acuna Jr. Jr. Out of four boxes, but I mean, that's not... I think it's, what, a tenth of a case? Or the... Or a fifth? I don't know how many come in a case. I've never ordered a case of blasters. Hey, look, there's our hit from this pack. <laughs> Stupid. All right. So we still got two hits out of that box. It was a 2024 numbered card and a 199 numbered card. For retail, we'll see. I'll definitely be order opening more blasters. I've got some of the Fanatics ones on order, so those are always those were nice for series one they had those the aqua parallels same idea they're um they have those aqua parallels for series two also um and they're guaranteed one a box i believe so Backwards card there. It's the rainbow foil. Trevor Story. Cattell. Miguel off. Got a Sal Frank, nice, on the holiday parallel. All Star Chipper Jones. our retail blue here Oswald Peraza so four blasters we got three of those I think I don't think the first one that I opened had a retail blue in it um, so I'm not sure what the deal is there but hey look we got a hot dogs you can see the hot dog parallel that's cool so this isn't one of the high numbered ones either it's not uh, numbered on the back so but it is more rare than the base so we'll take that and we can get the covering the field in here too these are cool it looks like they they're different for each player which you know if they're their actual stats that's pretty sweet um,
It's backwards and upside down for Aaron Judge. Those are sweet. I really like those. And Topps Chrome of that garbage. Base uh, Nick Allen from Holiday Parallel, Kirstad, let's see, Aaron Nola on the 88 throwback, alright, looks like we got something blue, it's going to be backwards. Blue border. Cool. I wonder if it's the uh, Father's Day parallel. Those are sweet. I like that. I don't know if it's that baby blue color, though. It looks like it's the 1989 stock. Kyle Hurt. That's a cool name. All right, let's see. It is the 89 stock. Is it a rookie? Not a rookie. Oh, it is a rookie. Bottom corner. Threw me off there. Heston Kierstad. Rookie blue on the 89 stock. These are sick. So they're not numbered, but it is an SP. Awesome. So, overall... Four blasters were pretty decent. We didn't pull anything crazy here, but I mean, this is a good parallel to pull of one of those. Um, we got the base, we got one hot dog, got a bunch of those base, we got one numbered to 2024, one, no one rookie numbered to 199, some more of the base holiday, 399, and then some more of that. We also got numbered to 50. So, I mean, overall, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Overall, not bad for the first four we've pulled. Um, I gotta wait until we get the rest of the stuff in to see, you know, what's better than the other, at least for me. I mean, fun rip, regardless, these are they did a good job changing the inserts up and, uh, you know, putting some fun stuff in the packs. So that was exciting, but, um, all in all, not nothing crazy out of these, but Hey, we're going to keep ripping. Everything I've seen says hobby is the way to go. Um, we've got some of that on order. So once we get that in, we'll get it posted. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.